The only thing I will say is first of all to congratulate everybody. This is because everybody did his part or her part that we are here now. The British had tried to look for this oil when they were here from 1920 I, I, I read the file they started looking for this oil in 1920 and what made them look for the oil were the seepages which were coming to the surface Itaka recover in Rigua in Rigua Amajuta. Look at Okubazo Murinero Okujua Okujua. Look at Okubazo. The seepages were, were seen. Chibiro Chibiro Dinka Erioku. Ah. Uh -huh. Had now at that place called Chibiro, the oil was oozing to the surface. That's why the place is called Chibiro. Chibiro is from Amizo Okubira. Water boiling, what do you, how do you say it? Munyoro mchiba zamuta. Ah, ah, kuchamuka munyoro tumurukulmanya. Chibiro, chibiro okubira, is when something is boiling. Therefore, the British had seen that oozing seepage and they started looking for the oil in 1920. And they went on until 1956. I, I read the file of the commissioner of geology, who in 1956 wrote saying that uh -uh, this oil was there, but it evaporated and went away. But when we came, when we came into government, a few days when I, I was in Entebbe, a group from Shell BP came and told me that they wanted to sign an agreement with me about oil exploration in Lake Albert. You Ugandans, this Lake Albert, in our language here we call it that's the name of this, what they call the Calbert. Muitanzige Murinoro, Muitanzige in Rinyankore. It means the lake that kills the locusts. The locusts could not cross this lake, they would drown there and you find them floating. And it was called Muitanzige. So these people said uh, they, they, they were sure there was oil here, 
I think they had seen those who had done the aeromagnetic survey 1980-79 when we came with Benaisa, you remember UNLF, we, we had done the aeromagnetic, so the aeromagnetic was now the X-ray which saw those structures in the ground. And because of that, this uh, uh, to, uh, shell wanted me to, to, and they said they were about to sign with Obote, but Obote had collapsed and ran away. Ah, I said, I'm a Juta. Nyebi ama juta nyebi ndave manyanta. Nyebi mseja muhekera. Nyebi okurisente nyebi manya. Okurima mhogo ni kumanya. Nyebi ama juta. Aha, tiku manya yebi. So, I told them that, let me check. I don't know anything about petroleum. Let me check whether in the government, they have people who know. So I told them to go away. Then I asked the Minister of, of Minerals that time. I called people who were there. There was also a man called Soiro Mboijana, who was like a commissioner. He had been at, with me at Ntare. <coughs> and I said, do you know anything about petroleum? He said, no, we don't know. But there is an expert in petroleum in the Bank of Uganda. I said, you call me that expert. They called him. The man was from Ghana, Ghana, Accra. And the only way he was connected with the petroleum is that he was the one handling the import papers of petroleum products in Uganda. That is how he was the expert. So I called back this shared BP. I said, you people, I cannot sign an agreement with you because I have nobody on my side who knows anything about petroleum. So go away. And that's how I called the minister, Chango Macho, and the PS called Opio, and I said, you people, look for Ugandans who have a Bachelor of Chemistry, Bachelor of Geology, Bachelor of Physics. They go for a Master's in Petroleum Studies. Then when they come back, they will be the ones to guide us after they have studied. So I think that's how these Kabaganda Karisas and uh, the others, Kashambus and others, were selected to be the first group who went in 1987 and they came back in 1989. Now, when they came back, I called Sherry BP. Sherry BP, you come, I now have got some people who know something about petroleum. Sherry said, no, there's no, more, no, no, no petroleum there. It was a mistake. Really? But you are the ones who told me. F for them, the Soviet Union had, had opened up. There was a lot of oil in the Soviet Union. So Shell BP was no longer interested in this petroleum here. But then I told these people here, I said, no, but you studied. You now look for the oil. You. Ban 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 these are the ones who looked for this oil, the, the, these people here. And they saw those structures, the ones which were, which are, they could even bring me, even for me, in my office, in the computer, I could also, I could also see them. Therefore, what now remained was to get somebody to, to drill and confirm what they are seeing in the, in the computer, whether it is, what is happening in the ground. And that's what eventually resulted into this discovery 
in 2006. So therefore, I first of all thank God for giving me that warning. Say Iwom Iwom say Jawo Omheker. Remember, Reka Reka Kuto Abantu. My advice to leaders, avoid Oktomera. Oktomera is a, is a omudu ziti numichumanyi mabanyoro. Oktomera numichumanyi? Chirumu omudinyoro? Aha. Oktomera is a word in our dialects here. 